Welcome back to Houston. Um, I kind of forgot about this series. I'm not going to lie. That playoff series just kind of made me drop it. I don't know what happened, but uh, we are back, which, I mean, is a little, little upsetting. Another playoff exit. The finals. Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals, nonetheless. Yeah, that happened. That was a thing. Okay, well... 26 points in 23 games from Barzell. Did I ever point that out? Because if not, that's wild. I probably did already cover all this and I just kind of forgot. Um, Lysel, a lot of people not happy with this guy. Not happy at all. So, yeah. I might have to uh, deal with that. But um, anyways, let's do this thing. So, start the draft. I'm, I'm going in like pretty much blind here. I don't really know what I'm doing at all. So, I'm just going to wing it. Sim to pick. All right, so just in case anyone is curious, I will check out the first couple here. So a medium elite center sniper with uh, no X factor, but a bunch of abilities. Okay. There you go. Finally found an X factor in Baumgartner. Let's go Damien. There's an X factor. All right. And then, wow, it, it dropped off quick to medium top six. Well, there's another medium elite that went later, but anyway, here we go. Sign me up. Uh, do I want to take this guy? I know that people, <laughs> they get very upset that I'm excited for a, a medium top nine late. But, uh, Winkfist, he's low elite. We have a medium top six guaranteed here in Jonathan Quint. Which is nice. Medium top six, can't complain. Oh, I think I gotta take the risk on this guy. He He's guaranteed to have that truculence one. Why would I not get him? 100%. Adam Winkvist. Let's let's pick him up. Make pick. Here we go. He is low elite, and he does have an X-Factor. Let us go. That is huge. Three abilities to boot. Mad lad. Absolute mad lad. He's already 62 overall as well. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well then, that's a good late first pick, no? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. So now, it is time... For round two. And this guy... Should we take another risk here? He's not guaranteed to be medium elite. We know absolutely nothing about him. He's a goalie. Sam Cassian. Yeah, there's not a whole lot to uh, talk about this guy. But if he is medium elite, he's good for trade value at least. You know, at the, the very minimum here. So, let's take Sam. Samuel. Welcome to the team. Medium elite, baby. He actually is. Okay. This is a solid draft so far. We did get some draft picks from trades that we made. Medium top six defenseman is pretty good. And these are the recommended players, even though we have approximately zero information on any of them. Incredible. I mean, Kent Sanderson says he'll be ready in three years, which isn't that far away, but he is medium bottom six. So yeah, I'm not too tempted for that. Medium top six defenseman is pretty good though. Corey Brophy. What a name. That's a real cool name. Four years till NHL ready. Yeah, he's pretty much... Well, he's not pretty much. He is guaranteed to be medium top six, which I mean, at this point in the draft, isn't really bad. That's pretty good. And what about this lad here? Three years till ready, but they're not sure about it. Four years guaranteed. And absolutely nothing on Reese. Should I risk it for the biscuit, even though we know nothing about him? Like, we don't need more medium top six defenders, you know? We're this far into the franchise. We're probably going to hand it off soon. Hand off the reins. Let's just take a big risk. A shot in the dark. Low top six. Oh, that's not bad. At 64 overall as well. That, that actually worked out better than I thought it would. All right. Cool. Sim to our next pick, which is also in round three. As I mentioned, we did grab some draft picks from trades that we made. So... Medium, top six. Uh, medium top nine forward is pretty good for the third round, I would say. Five years till NHL ready. Yikes. I don't know if we really have any better options, though. Let's sort by uh, potential here. We could take some more massive gambles if we really wanted to, but I can't really ask you guys because... All right, that's going to be a steal. 255. Is there any gems left? No, just a bust. Okay. Okay. So let's sort back by this again. Yeah, that low elite, we are going to steal him. 255, okay, noted. Nice, so around 250 is where we want to aim for that guy. Uh, guaranteed medium top six. 
Robin Cress. That's solid. Five years till NHL ready, so his overall is going to be low. What about Leopold? Two years, but... Yeah, I severely doubt that. Okay, well, let's go with the uh, the guaranteed here in Cress. Make pick. And we have a medium top six, 50 overall player. Round four. We are flying through this draft here. And we have a medium top six defender again, which is not bad. All right, well, keep that in mind. Uh, what pick are we at, by the way? 124, so we still have a long way to go before that low elite guy. Okay, let's sort by potential again. And scout it out. All right. Yeah, okay. There he is. I was about to take him, but I'm like, nope. We got a long way to go before we have to worry about that. Low top six. Patch ready. 167. Breelin. Hmm. Okay. Stobbins. This guy's supposed to go at 125, so he's, yeah, right in our range here. We know literally nothing about him. So let's do it. His name's Bear. That's sick. There you go. Yikes. Whoopsies. That's okay. I'm over it. Like I said, we don't really need to worry too much about prospects at this point. They're just trade bait, if anything. And I mean, like the first round pick might be good this year or next year, which would be nice. But other than that, we don't really have to uh, concern ourselves with it too much. Pick 131. Could guarantee just like a medium top six defender, which I mean, it's not guaranteed, but pretty confident. Yeah, or a low top six. Hmm. Let's go with a uh, yip. Got a gut feeling. Nice. You know what? I'm just going to take this guy now. Might as well. Don't put it off any longer in case any other teams get bright ideas. There you go. Low elite with most likely decent trade value. So that's good. Sort by potential. Let's take some more just like... Complete blind shots here. Like Caesar, Caesar <laughs> Biega. This guy. I doubt he's medium elite. In fact, he's probably like medium bottom six, but let's see. Oh, look at that. How's that for a, a little prediction? Um, I just realized that guy was supposed to go at like 250 and there's not even 250 picks in the draft. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, we definitely could have got him now, but I think it was worth taking him. Just so I don't, you know, jump the gun and forget about him or something. Uh, sure. Yanni Hall. Boom. Medium bottom six. Whatever. Okay. Well, I'm happy with that draft. Let's go to the end of it, which is basically just that Leafs pick. A low top nine for the final pick. Not too shabby. Yeah, we have some contracts we got to try to, to re-sign here, which is scary. I feel like a lot of players, I'm just going to let them go. Like, uh, Zadina and Miro, I'm gonna get them back, but there's definitely some players that I'm just gonna- Oh my word. That is terrifying. How are we for goalies? Oh no, Teal's running up as well. Oh no. You don't love to see it. Did we draft this guy or just pick him up in free agency? Oh, we did draft him. Cool. Seventh round. He's 76 overall. All right, Byron, I see you. I'll give you a little deal here. Yeah. Keep working at it, bud. Great. Okay, what about you? He is not really progressing too well. So I think, Vincent, I get, I'll qualify you. Sure. There you are. Umberger. Nah. We've got this guy right here. So, I mean, he's got a little bit more potential than Umberger. Not going to bother. And then we also have McNaughton. I kind of forgot about him. Medium elite as well. 72 overall. All right. Let's um let's offer these guys some contracts here. I know you can do the multiply thing. I'm just going to kind of guess. I'll offer you 9 mil. Absolutely outrageous. And I will offer you 10 5 to start and we'll see where that gets us. Okay. Offer that. And there are some players down here as well. Verona doesn't want to resign. I'm not even going to bother depending on what McLeod wants. I will try to get him back. Olafson and Jones, I'll probably let them go. Actually, you know what? Olafson's been pretty good for us, so I'm going to bring him back. He doesn't even want a lot, so... Yeah, I'll offer him, like, 2.7. And that will probably be enough for him to come back. And then centers, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5 with McLeod, who I am going to try to bring back because he doesn't want a lot. So I'll give you 2.3. 
And yeah, Danielson's medium top six, so I'm not going to let him go. Let's try to sign him here. He's only 24, still got time to develop, which is good. Uh, low top six at 70 overall. You can play in the AHL, sure. There you go. And for his back at Carlson, I'll let you walk for now. Okay. Yeah, let's um let's sim a day and, and see where this gets us. Advanced day. We got Olafson. Ah, uh, Miro said nah. We did get Zadina and we got McLeod. Okay, so I think, yeah, all these guys are probably gonna resign. So we just gotta worry about Miro. Where are you? Wait, what? Where'd he go? <laughs> I, oh, I'm on forwards. That's why. Whoopsie daisies. Defenseman. All right. We do got to try to get him here. Offer him a contract. Ah, that's so much money, man. That is so much money. I'll give you 11. Final offer. And advance a day. Okay. That, I, that, that's got to be a tradable contract, right? 89 overall. He's only 29, so he's not really old yet. He's not going to start going down. We definitely have a few more years out of him. I'm not going to let these medium top four defensemen go either. Uh, he actually wants a one-way contract. I'll give you that. Sure. And you seem like you could grow into quite the player. Sure. Davies as well. Getting some defensemen here. So we might be a little bit weaker on defense this year. But I think we'll still be all right. And left wingers, we're going to have uh, one, two, three. Or sorry. One, two, three. And then we kind of need a fourth. Uh, oh, actually, I'm not letting you go. You're a low elite. Yeah, you're staying for sure. Boom. Yeah, he's, he's got some abilities there as well. Okay, so that's good. He could, yeah, he could play in the NHL this year. He's actually listed as fourth line, which is beautiful. Beautiful. Anyone down here I need to worry about? Yeah. Medium elite. I'm not letting you walk. That's for sure. Boom. He's 69 overall. He can play in the AHL this year. Uh, low top six. We already have enough in the system. I don't really need to worry about you. And all these guys don't need to be signed yet. All right. Centers. <laughs> Working our way slowly but surely. We have enough centers. We got one, two, three, four, and then McLeod. Uh, but one of these guys could play on the wing. So we're good in the center department. Right wingers. We have other positions that could play the right side. So we're going to be good there. Don't think we need to pick anyone up. Defenseman, uh, I think I'm fine with what we have there. Oh my goodness, I just realized we only have $12 million of cap space left, so we are going to have to let some players go, which is terrifying. Oh no. I should have qualified some of the players. Hopefully, Miro gets back first. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Please, Miro. Wait, what? That. What happened? Oh, we got him already. Oh, that's right. Okay, I got him individually. Okay, so we still have $12 million on top of all that. Whew. I was terrified for a second. But no, we are good. We are good. And I don't want to sign any free agents because we have to worry about our current roster first. We have some players running up. And I'm going to try to offer them extensions at the start of next year. So uh, let's send to free agency. I will have a look at who's in free agency. However... I will not be, you know, grabbing anybody. <laughs> I'm going to be avoiding um, free agents. Here we go. And overall, Sveshnikov is there. He wants a hefty amount of money. Uh, Goche? Who's this? Julian Goche. Don't think I've heard of him, but he turned out to be quite the player. Uh, Jimmy Superstar. Nuge. Okay, so there are some good players here this year. But uh, no. No. Not for me. Goalies. We already have an elite goaltender. Di Pietro. Whoever signs him for that, you're getting robbed. Okay. Let's uh, sim to next year. Put the team together and see what we have. Well, here's the lines, guys. I moved Lysel all the way down to line three, which is, you know, what he's listed as. Our whole third line is third line forwards. And then uh, we have two third liners on the fourth line, but we also have a fourth liner. Okay. And then our second line is going to be Lundestrom, Newhook, and Boss. Yeah. I guess I... No, I'm not going to do that. That's... The dirtiest second line in all of hockey. And then we have all first line forwards on our first line, which is outrageous. Uh, we got a top two defender and a top four in Bouchard, but they're plus one. Kavanov and Sergachev plus two. And then Yuri and Rickard plus three. That is huge. So, yeah, I'm liking the chemistry of the team this year. This is looking very good. Very good indeed. Um, Blomqvist, he is... 
Yeah, he's stuck at 79 overall. I don't know, man. Should we maybe... Oh, he's listed as a minor starter. I Maybe we shouldn't. But what is um, Blomqvist listed as? He's Yeah, he's a backup goalie, so... He's not the best backup in the world, but I think he can get the job done. I'll, uh, I'll trust him for now. Give him a shot. But let me view the contracts here. So, we gotta... We gotta get some extensions going. So, right now he's making about 8.8. .8, and he wants 10. Oh, this is not gonna be good. And our goalie is terrifying. He's making 3.1. And, okay, that's not that bad. I thought it was gonna be worse. We should get him back first and foremost. So, I'm gonna offer him... 725 for eight years. That seems fair to me. All skaters, we need Raymond to come back as well. At least sign him so we can trade him. But I'm going to offer him 10 flat. Yeah, we're turning into the Toronto Maple Leafs here. Let's scroll down. Kavanov, he's making 4.8 and he wants... Oh, I think we still have the money for it. So I'm going to try giving him 6.1. And if we have to make any trades, then we have to make trades. Lindstrom, I might have to let you go. Uh, that contract is too good. There's no way you're going to want less than that. Yeah, didn't think so. McLeod, oops. Guess I, I can't do that, so never mind. Not going to trade you. Let me back out of that real quick. But uh, if we get these players back, those are the ones I'm the most worried about. Uh, more will be an RFA, which is ideal. Lysel, everyone's favorite player. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see about that. Frederick and Dal Cole are just pretty much there. But not... actually, you know what? Let me send them down to the minors so they at least get playing time. Because they are currently scratched. Edit lines. Go to the roster moves. And we go all the way to the bottom. And send down Dal Cole and Frederick. So, there you go. The AHL might be... A little bit better now. And preferred lines. There you have it. So we got two plus ones, which is nice. The offense looks solid. On defense, we got the plus two down here with whoever this is. Uh, sure, why not? Maybe he'll have a good year. And then these guys. So yeah, we're all good there. Davies, hopefully he turns out. And we got this guy as well. Medium top four. No, we can't do that then. And I want Davies or him to be up there, so... We'll leave that as is. In net, we got Byron and then McNaughton as the backup. He is medium elite potential, which is glorious. He's getting better. Maybe he'll be Teal's replacement. Uh, but yeah, there we go. That's our lineup. Let's sim through the year and see what happens. Kavanov decided to come back. Raymond decided to come back and so did Teal. So there we go. We have all the big names locked down again, which is very good. Very good indeed. All right, the preseason is going quite well, but we're probably playing against, like, AHL teams, <laughs> I would imagine. All right, here we go. Another year for the Houston Hammerheads. We're off to a pretty hot start here. We're 7-1-1, one, one, but that doesn't mean anything. We could definitely come crashing right back down any second. Okay, let's keep it going. And, yeah, we are coming out of the gate strong this year. Houston is... A force to be reckoned with right now. 13, 14, 4-2 actually. Lost to LA there. That's okay. Beat the Wild. I wonder if we're going to see some more player progression as well. I know everyone wants to see Boss on the first line, but I tried moving him up. And it brought the line chemistry from, I think it's a 2? Is it 2 or 1? It's one or the other. But it brought it down to a minus 1. So, <laughs> not going to do that. I'll just have the best second line in hockey. Nice. Love going on losing streaks. Those are my favorite things in the entire world. We beat the Islanders, though, which is nice. A 1-0 game against the Blue Jackets. Talk about a goaltender duel in that contest. We're actually going on a bit of a tear here. Winning a lot of hockey games. And hopefully we don't go into the trade deadline with a... Yeah, nice. Love it. Yeah, I keep losing, actually. No, I love this. It's my favorite thing. All right, we got two wins at least there. I'm not going to make any moves. Our team's doing good. But I will, however, go in and see who's available. Enter the trade deadline. I mean, maybe. We could possibly make a move. We don't really need anyone. But uh, I'm not going to fully rule it out. Braden Point is 33. He's too old. I don't want to bring him in right now. Any young players? Holtz. It's only 85 overall, though. Matthew Boldy. 
He is 28, 85. How much is his contract? Can you see it here? 4.8 for two more years. Okay. Yeah, no. I think I'm okay. I think I'm all right. No, there are some good players, but not interested at this time. Thank you, though. Exit that. And let's see if there's any big... Oh. Let's, uh, how... What overall is he? 78? Oh. Hmm. No, sorry, Anthony. Nope. Not gonna do it. Let's, uh, let's keep going here, though. Let's finish the season and see who our first round opponent will be. I know it's bold, assuming we're gonna make the playoffs, considering it is post-trade deadline, and we typically go on horrendous losing streaks, but we're gonna hope that doesn't happen here. And I hope our AHL team is doing well as well. Haven't really checked on them yet. <laughs> As you guys are probably aware, because I've been talking throughout majority of the season. But I'm assuming they're doing okay. We got the final few games coming up here. Don't go on a losing streak. Okay, at least, even if we lose the last two, I don't care. At least we won that game against Ottawa, so it wasn't the last four. All right. 47, 27, and 8. We got the L... Hmm. The President's Trophy winning LA Kings last year anyway. They beat us out for that spot. We eliminated them in the playoffs, so we got the last laugh. But, yeah, they definitely did well again this year. And they finished the season 7-3-0. and oh. That is terrifying. Okay, well, we got 77 points from Raymond this year. He had the most on the team. Let's check out the team standings, shall we? Entire league. Where's the Hammerheads? Where are we at? We are 10th. Okay, that's not bad. 102 points, 10th in the league. I don't want to be way up there anymore because it clearly doesn't do anything for us. So congrats, San Jose. Don't know what their team looks like, but... Oh, there you go. Brady Kachuk, Eklund, and Ehlers. Velarde, Sterling, and Gooschin, I suppose. Yeah, I don't really recognize anyone other than Hammerhead's legend, Kyle Palmieri, on the third and fourth lines there. They got UC with IC and Net. And then John Gibson with the backup role. Interesting. Okay, well, yeah, I'll take 10th place. That's not bad. We didn't have a point game player. Raymond was the closest thing with 77. I don't even think we have, like, a sniper on that first line. Boss is... Wow. Okay, we do. We have Zadina. Okay. And he only put up 57 points. What the heck? Boss put up 58 on the second line. What are you doing, Philip? Anyway, um, yeah, 77 points for Raymond, 74 for Barzell. 58 for Boss, uh, Miro put up 58, Zadina put up 57, and I'll just kind of go through the entire team here. So, yeah, Yuri didn't do so great. He is 79 overall, though, more 82. Uh, 81, is he listed? He's listed as third line now, so he did go up a little bit. Fabian Lysel still a flop, dash 13. Might be time to uh, pull the plug on this lad. Clearly, things did not work out there. And uh, Kapari as well. Yeah, that one line struggled, it seems like. Okay, well, the team still did well overall. Uh, goalies, Teal had a 9-11, and he went 36, 20, and 7. Look at Blomqvist go. He's up to 80 overall now. He had a 9-12 and 260, 11, 8, and 1 with three shutouts in 21 games, and Teal had four in 64. Interesting. All right. I'm thinking, like, we got to, before the playoffs start, we might even have to replace, Ly or, yeah, Lysel with someone and, like, the minors. Like, he's just not good. I don't know what it is, but this guy sucks. Well, here's the playoff tree. This is what uh, the official Stanley Cup playoff bracket looks like for year number... What are we in? Nine? Eight? Nine? Something like that? Yeah. There you go. Actually, we haven't checked anything about the AHL team. Let me do that real quick. So, the AHL team... Yeah, they killed it. 58, 21, and 3. They are in the lofts right now. 0 and 1. Classic. Evans had 77 points, and he's up to 88 overall. Did they win the... Uh, yeah, they did. They won the season. 119 points. Very good from the Burnaby Aces. And if we go to the player stats... Uh, Danielson put up 71. He doesn't seem to be growing at all, though. Same with Granlin. He's kind of stuck. Uh, Dow Cole put up 66. Okay. Yeah, I'm mostly curious about that uh, goaltender. I want to see how he's doing. Ooh, Davies. Up to 78 now. Beautiful. Beautiful. Where's that other defenseman? Let me just actually go to defenders. Uh, what was his name? Hodgson, maybe? 
Yeah, he's the other medium top four, I think. But he's 75 overall. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, oh, wait, this guy. Medium top four, he's 76. Okay. Bohinski. Yeah, he didn't really grow at all. Uh, McNaughton had a 916 and 195 through 26 games. That is immaculate. Byron did well as well. 905, 233, 77, and 76. McNaughton is definitely growing. So he could be Teal's replacement soon. That is very reassuring. And yeah, I guess that's uh, about it. So looks good. And Lysel will be replaced. Yeah, I'll see you soon for the first round of the year nine, I think. Stanley Cup playoffs. It's some playoffs, that's for sure.